Netflix filmed another book to make an original series, and this one is all about blood. It all started when Zoraida Cordova and Natalie C. Parker made an anthology of vampire stories. What they did was simple. They took a bunch of famous stories about vampires, usually from famous authors like Samira Ahmed, V. E. Schwab, Mark Ashiro, Julie Murphy, Laura Ruby. They made a list, and they included them in a book called Vampires Never Get Old, Tales with Fresh Bite. Now, this book took the world by storm and fans from all over the world have been buying the book. They've been reading it, and they've been loving it ever since. The stories inside offer the reader indulgence in some of the best vampire stories ever written. But now that we think about it, can we really say best when describing a story? Nope, because this is art, and art is subjective. So we're going to say that the stories they've chosen are thrilling. They're full of suspense and just keep drawing you in. Some fans weren't satisfied with this book simply because they said the stories were about 10 pages too short. They wanted to read something lengthier because the stories were just that good. Now, this is where Netflix steps in. They love making movie adaptations from popular books, and this time, the anthology of vampire stories got picked. Now, don't confuse this series with First Kill the Movie. One of them stars Bruce Willis, the other one is a fantasy teen drama. It's tough imagining Bruce Willis saving the planet and fighting vampires at the same time. Wait for a second, we might be onto something here. Anyway, back to First Kill the Netflix show. The show is going to be written and created by V. E. Schwab, which is one of the writers of the vampire stories in the books. In fact, if you go inside and read the book, you will see that Schwab has written a story just like the title of this Netflix original, First Kill. But V. E. Schwab is not the only one who is behind this project. Before we talk about who else is part of the crew, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy, and you keep getting these videos for free. As we were saying, Emma Roberts and Kara Price are said to be the show's producers through a company called Bellatrist Productions. Looking a little further into it, we discovered that Bellatrist was really eager to get this show. They outbid about 24 other groups, which were all after one thing and one thing only the rights to this new Netflix original. In fact, this is one of their latest works, and to just think that Emma Roberts and Kara Price started Bellatrist as a book readers club that is now producing their shows. Now, speaking of production, we should mention that First Gill is Schwab's first show to get a green light. Even though shows like The Archive and The City of Ghosts have been previously developed by the CW Network, this is a first for the creator. Okay, we talked so much about the show's crew, but what about the show itself? How are the episodes structured? Well, we're glad you asked. From what we've managed to find online, this show is going to have a total of 8 episodes. Before the fans of the book go off saying that this is not nearly enough, let us point out that each of the episodes is going to have a runtime of approximately 60 minutes. Now, sadly, reading about the show's plotline revealed that the show will not be like the book. What does that mean? Well, we're not going to have 8 episodes each with their own individual vampire story and the same cast, kind of like American Horror Story does with their seasons. We're going to have one plot line and it's going to be based on a teenage girl named Juliet. Juliet will want to be part of the most powerful vampire family. To do this, she has to do something in return, and that something will be killing another human being. She looks around town to find her first target, but being inexperienced, she makes the wrong choice. You see, the girl she chose is Calliope. She starts thinking that Calliope will be easy prey, but she soon realizes that this girl who she thought was so innocent turns out to actually be a part of a very popular and very experienced family of vampire hunters. And this, the predator becomes the prey as the tables are turned. But hold on just a minute, that's not the biggest plot twist in this show. It's not? Nope. The biggest plot twist comes not when the vampire and the vampire hunter realize that the other one isn't easy to kill, but when they realize their enemy is going to be the person they fall in love with. Excited much? Now, What's on Netflix has revealed that the show officially began production. Their data is coming from IMDB, where the show is listed under filming when you go to the production company's account. It said that the production began in July of 2021. The filming will take place in Georgia, and the show will take place in Savannah, Georgia. But what about the release date? Sadly, the show has started filming, but there is no news on the release date. No, we don't know if it's because they want to keep it a mystery, or because it might take too long to edit the show. 
but we're hoping that one year will be plenty of time to film, edit, and release the show on Netflix. Meaning, if everything goes according to plan, then the earliest we could expect the show to air would be of July 2022. We'll give them until Christmas, but they better make it until then. Now, if even though they haven't told us of the release date yet, we do know who is going to be part of the cast. Let's start with a teenage vampire named Juliet. She will be played by Sarah Catherine Cook, the actress who has played roles in movies like Monsterland, The Conjuring 3, and Nas 4A2. But we also talked about the girl Juliet is planning on killing for her admission into the vampire family. Calliope will be played by actress Imani Lewis, who has been popular for her role in Vampires vs. the Bronx, Farewell Armor, and of course, Killer Among Us. But these two characters are part of two families that include the Burns and the Fairmonts. The Burns are the family of monster hunters, and their members include Talia, Jack, Apollo, and Theo. The Fairmonts, or the Vampires family, includes Margot, Sebastian, Eleanor. But who is behind all of these roles? Speaking of the other actors, they will include Gracie Zini playing the role of Eleanor. Gracie has made her name for herself starring in Bumblebee, Zoo, and Chasing Life. For the role of Apollo, Dominic Goodman will be taking on the challenge, since he has played characters in Young Rock, Animal Kingdom, and Euphoria. Dylan McNamara, who has been playing in LA's Finest, Motel 32, and Survival, will also be part of First Kill. The role of Margot has been given to Elizabeth Mitchell, who has played in Running Scared, Lost, and Frequency. Jason R. Moore will take on the role of a character by the name of Jack. Moore has had a lot of experience under his belt, playing in movies like The Punisher, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, and The Quad. The role of Theo will be taken on by Philip Mullins Jr., who has played in movies like American Soul, Chad, and Bruh. Sebastian will be played by an actor who has played alongside Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, and Zendaya. His name is Will Swinson. Finally, Albin Wise will take on the role of Talia, and MKXYZ will be playing Tess. But because this is a new show, there are actors for whom this will be the first major TV role. So for the role of Ben, Jonas Dylan Allen has taken on the role. Noah will be played by Roberto Mendez, also an actor whose debut is in First Kill. On a related note, what would you like to see happen in First Kill Season 1? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.